Hey, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This is Clay with Clay's AC and Auto Repair and Clay Motion here in Grand Rapids, Michigan, and this is the Clay Way. If this video is helpful, please subscribe. Most of all, turn the volume down on your computer while you're working on your stuff and let my videos play. That'd be greatly appreciated. Remember, if anybody else can do it, you can do it too. Click the notifications down below if you want to send me a comment. I appreciate nice ones, don't like mean ones. If you got to reach out to me, hit me up on Clay's AC and Auto Repair on the Facebook. I'll try to answer your automotive related needs. So today we're going to work on this 2006 uh, Dodge Ram. It's got a 5.7 Hemi in it. I'm going to change the oil pressure sensor. Uh, watch the video here. I'm going to show you something and explain something to you. Okay, right down here on the passenger side is our oil pressure sensor right above the oil filter. Now you might be doing it on the ground and doing it from below, so that might make it easier for you. Off to the um, whatever left right there is the oil temperature sensor uh, that's not to get confused with the oil pressure sensor first thing we're going to do is you see this little there's a little red clip this isn't it so don't get all twisted and bent out of shape but there's a little red clip you can see it right down there that you're going to have to push that little red clip over real super super simple like i showed you on there see right there and then we're going to push the little locking tab and it's nice because this socket is identical to that one down there so we're going to push the little locking tab and pull that out of there most sensors are 27 millimeters or uh, I think it's an inch and an eighth or an inch and sixteenth actually it's got to be probably an inch and an eighth so we've got a little six inch extension here okay so we've got our socket and extension ran underneath our heater heater lines but not through our fan right there and right underneath our tensioner here. We're gonna go ahead and take this thing out. Okay, to take that socket out, it's gonna be counterclockwise, which is lefty-loosey, righty-tighty. Just in case you were wondering exactly where that is, um, when you go to reinstall that, you might not be able to see it. The oil filter's right here. This is the sensor hole right here, and that's a blank hole. This is another 5.7 I had laying around. Before you go to install your new one, just put a little bit of thread tape on there and you're good to go. Install it, make sure you click the little red clip back over. Hopefully the video was helpful for you guys. You guys will subscribe, uh, click the notifications down there below and remember if anybody else can do it, you can do it too. God bless, have a great day.